city of Lowell went through a devastating change. The building sat vacant for half a century. More than a third of the town works in the mills. 85% are single women between 15. I see myself now, racing down the alley, between the spinning frames, and carrying in front of me a bobbin box, bigger than I was. Women earn money for the first time. Harriet's wages help support her family. Industrialization is changing everyone's lives. The mills also revolutionize how Americans dress. Mass production of cheap cotton fabrics spawns America's clothing industry. Previously, most families made their own clothes. Now, people buy ready-to-wear. Eastern fashions replace buckskin. By 1850, men's clothing is the largest manufacturing industry in New York City. in Lowell in the 1830s, and they begin to stage walkouts. October 1836. Women from the Lowell Mills gather after work and organize. Their protest against wage cuts is one of the first strikes in U.S. history. And they will win. The mill bosses back down. A generation of young women go on to become teachers, writers, and even college graduates.